stuck in there. I didn't see it. Buried in the dirt. Big old piece of cast iron. Why it's in there? No clue. No clue. Uh. everybody we are back out here behind uh, the house over here where I was working at yesterday and um, just got the uh, skid steer blown off put some grease uh, in the bearings of the of the mulcher and uh, we're getting ready to get started trying to get this whole back section done today and I'll just give a quick overview of what we got real quick I'm also gonna shout out somebody real quick for a little gift they sent me so I'm gonna show you guys what we got so my buddy Sam over at TriStar Digging, he came uh, down a couple months ago, or like a month or so ago, and uh, picked up a mulcher for his uh, Prenoth mulcher for his Cat 308. And uh, he uses one of these auto gimbal things. 
and what you do is you put your GoPro in right there and you turn it on and it keeps the GoPro like you can turn this thing this it's not on but you can turn it all kinds of different ways and it'll keep the GoPro completely level no matter which way this thing is turned it will keep the GoPro level and I don't have it in there right now I got to film the thing with the GoPro but um, I just want to give a big shout out to Sam for sending this to me I put my magnet mount on the bottom of it it's got a screw in bottom for like a little for hooking to a tripod it comes with a little mini tripod for setting it up I hooked my uh, magnet mount it's got a screw in bottom uh and i just hooked my screwed my magnet mount into the bottom of it but this thing's really cool and if you guys haven't checked out tristar digging he has a really really cool channel he does a lot of really cool stuff um and he takes really good he does really good content like he actually takes a lot of time to uh to make really good content and produce really good content and film really cool stuff so just want to shout him out really quick um uh, over at TriStar Digging for sending me this thing. He didn't have to do that, but he did. So he's just a really great guy. And he makes, like, if you like Dirt Perfect or, um, you know, Captain Kleeman, uh, those kind of guys who, like, really make really, really good content, um, he is, he's awesome. He makes some really cool stuff. He does all kinds of dirt work, mulching. Uh, so, yeah, thanks, Sam. I think he, he enjoyed running. He ran the 120 with the brush cutter on it with the Mega Mower. He was, he was, uh, really enjoying that uh so appreciate it sam i'm gonna use this thing today and and uh have a good time with it so thank you buddy all right so i'm gonna try to get this corner right here and this corner right here done today that's my goal shouldn't be a problem the only thing that we've got to do is work around these piles of trash there's four of them there's one here i think yeah one two there's a third one around this tree and then there's another one right back there uh in the brush back there on the very edge of of this uh this corner so we're gonna have to work around those i talked to the client yesterday about bringing the mini back in here in a couple of weeks when i get it back this way from the farm job and coming back over here and uh and getting that taken care of um and pulling all that stuff out so we can get rid of it so all right let's go ahead and uh get started hey everybody if you're interested in getting one of these mulchers please contact my friends over at cce equipment they're a full line dealer of Prenoff, Dennis, Seamoff, Pecan, Loftness, uh, as well as ASV and Wacker Newson equipment. Uh, they carry a full line of stuff. Um, they do sales, rentals, they ship nationwide. If you need anything, please look them up and uh, use the promo code IDIGIT and they will hook you up. Thanks, guys.
Well, misfortune strikes again. Hit a big old bale of chicken wire right in this hole right here, buried, buried in the grass, never saw it. So hopefully it didn't hurt anything. It stopped the head pretty much dead. And the last time it did that, it blew out one of the, the fittings over there on the uh, hookup. So I'm hopeful that that did not happen this time. So let's see if we can't get this out. Yay. All right, luckily that wasn't too bad. Got that out. Uh, the owner helped me out really quick getting that out, which was nice. And uh, we just pulled that bale right over there. Got it out of the way. So, all right, let's see what we can get mulched here for the next little bit. It's a mess, but we'll see if we can't get it. I'm, uh, I'm basically, he walked, he just walked through here with some orange spray paint. I'm gonna stay out of this. There's a bunch of metal and stuff in there. So where you see that orange line, I'm not going anywhere in there now. Um, I'm coming back in about a month with the mini and we're gonna rip all this out, consolidate it. And then uh, he's gonna haul it off in his dump trailer. Luckily he owns a garbage service. So he's got trucks and trailers to haul this stuff off with, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna kind of cut through here or stop here and we'll start working this the only thing that we uh, know that's in here is that barrel right there and that's it at least in this section all the way down to about that where that tree is so okay let's see what we can get done before the day ends
right, we are done for today. Got a lot done in here. Got this whole section basically cleaned out for as much as I could do. Um, I started hitting debris in here. I mean, you can see that big pile of metal there. There's a whole bunch of wire in there. And then I started hitting wire right in there. So I was like, I just cut my losses, came around over here to the front and uh, just got all of this cleaned out right here <clears throat> in front of the house. So all this looks really good. We're gonna take that dead Widowmaker down next time, I think. So the next, so I'm kind of doing this in one month deals. I, I give him one one day, you know, day rates over here. <clears throat> um, once a month has kind of been our deal. And uh, so the next job is to bring the mini over here and start ripping out all this trash and debris um, from these piles in there and over there and get it all piled up and uh, put it in his dump trailer. I mean, you can just see there's metal pipe in there. We, him and I just walked in here, got my uh, grinder with me, but I mean, there's metal pipe right there. There's just stuff everywhere. Metal there, metal there. I mean, there's just, it's a hodgepodge of stuff and just trash and, but yeah, it's got this whole front done and it looks good. He's very happy with everything so far. There's a big red oak down there too. I tried to start grinding on it, but I was not making much progress. So he's like, don't worry about it. We'll cut it up and just push it off into the swamp back there. So no big deal on that. I was like, I could grind it, but I'm gonna be here an hour. I mean, I think it had no ground contact, so it wasn't rotten at all. He's like, yeah, don't worry about it. So we'll push that off. I gotta take care of the stump where it fell over anyway. So yeah, making progress. Got a lot done here um, in the last two days. About, uh, about 11 or 12 hours overall worth of work. So very nice, very nice. Well, it's Thursday. It's going to start raining uh, tomorrow on Friday and not quit until Sunday. We're supposed to get two to three inches of rain. Yay! So I don't know when I'm going to be back down at the farm project to do anything because now, I mean, it has been so wet down there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So the rain is killing me so far here in February. It's not, not in January, late January into February. It's not been cool. Not loving it, but uh, do what you do. So beautiful afternoon beautiful evening out here he's got a gorgeous property out here um, now that we're getting it cleaned up it's looking a lot better so all right hope you guys enjoyed it i'm off to go meet the family for dinner and i will check you guys later bye everybody